Hello and welcome everybody. Muslim believe there are other creatures living with us and we cannot see them. These creatures are created from the fire and they call them jinn or satans. According to the Quran and Sunnah, Satan is a creature from jinn that was living on earth before the creation of Adam. And this Satan was one of them. Then Allah chose him for his good deeds and brought him to heaven next to him. When Allah decided to create Adam, he ordered the angel to prostrate before Adam. The writer of the Quran states in chapter 18 verse 50, And remember when we said to the angel, prostrate before Adam. So they all did, but not Iblis. Iblis here is a Satan who was one of the jinn, but he rebelled against the command of his Lord. The question here to be asked to the Muslim is why the existence of Satan? The only answer that is going to convince me is you telling me don't ask why God wanted to be so. But when you think about it, you cannot see any reasons behind the existence of Satan. God who create this creature and he knows exactly he will rebel against him and despite all of this he still gave him the power over human being and he was negotiating with God and told him to let him until the day of the judgment and God replied to him go you are free until the day of the judgment chapter 7 verse 14 to 15 I am not interested in knowing where Muhammad came up with this idea of Satan and from whom he heard it. Because in my opinion it does not matter, the only thing matter here is this explanation of Muhammad about evil is correct. Some people say that he is some kind of angel that has been degraded as Christian believe and as well Christian believe in spirit but in Islamic belief think are different because God stated in chapter 18 verse 50 who was one of the jinn referring to a Satan or Iblis. Where Satan or Iblis came from is not important. The most important thing here, did God not know that this was going to happen? Of course he know. So then obviously it's his will to create someone called Satan to work with him to complete the creation scenario. There is no explanation other than this. And if you disagree with me and said no, you are wrong, then this means that Allah was surprised. If God was surprised, then he is not God because you take away from him the absolute knowledge. In the end, this means that God wants to torment or torture you indefinitely before he created anything. The nice thing about this religion is that when you research for a problem, you get other problems out. Of course, this creature alone could not do the job of whispering to all human beings. And here the Quran is clear that Satan has his descendant. So now we know that Satan will have offspring. Some say he have a wife, but where she came from? Nobody knows. Some say he is asexual and he does not have a wife and somehow he gave birth to Satan's. But the closest correct narration is that we have eggs. In an authentic narration which can found in Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, Al-Qurtubi said the interpretation of this verse, I said, what is proven is this section in the correct one in the combination of the two Sahih. On the authority of Salman he said, The Messenger of God my God said, Do not be the first one to enter the market nor is the last person to come out of it. In it the Satan lay his eggs and his cheeks hatched from the eggs and this indicates that Satan has descended from his body. The important thing here is that we have an explanation. It does not matter if the eggs come from Satan himself or from his wife. And for one person to produce all these eggs, they cannot produce 
how this reproduction will work there are a lot of people going to be born and die and one person cannot lay eggs for all these satans if you think that where all this problem are going to end then i will bring you a problem bigger than the dinosaur and i hope muslim will listen and understand what is i'm going to say there is a term in the islamic religion called qareen and he is from satan of spring and can be understood as a devil associate the problem in this devil associate you as a muslim you cannot say it's a weak narration and does not exist in islam because it's mentioned in the quran in chapter 50 verse 27 the writer of the quran state once devilish associate will say oh lord i did not make them transgress rather they were far astray on their own problem that is difficult to understand here is where this devil associate come from and what is his job and who told him to do this job this devil he has only one job is to whisper to your ear and to guide you to wrong way he only show you the bad thing and the worst thing to do always next to your ear telling you to do this and not to do that and the surprising fact here is that this devil was put there by god command the devil associate is an employee of god in an authentic narration the prophet state there is none among you with whom is not an attached from among the jinn devil god gave every person a devil and an angel when he was born and the devil job is to show you the bad thing and the angel job is to show you the good thing it's like what you see in the animated film and the children's story the devil on your left side arguing with the angel over your right side and sometimes they pick a fight and you finally decide to do the bad or the good thing and this devil associate is always disbeliever the original in this devil is disbelief god does not say he will give you a believer devil but the devil for muhammad was embraced islam and you see the big problem here you have instead of one now he has two people telling him to marry his son's wife two telling him to marry Aisha, two whispering to his ear to marry Safiya after killing her husband and her tribe. There was only one before and now he has two people telling him to do good deeds. The logical question to be asked here is if this devil associate was assigned by God to do this job and he has no choice on that why god want to punish him for doing what he command him to do just to be fair here this devil can be converted to islam he probably one day say why i am doing this job is better for me to become a muslim and have four women's many slave sex and after i will get the maidens in the paradise a solution to the problem of devil associate can lead to to many other questions and technical problems with this islamic narration to this bizarre idea they say in islamic sources when a person die his devil goes somewhere until the day of the judgment when he is going to meet you and have a discussion with you they will blame you and you will blame them but let's leave this aside and see what is the case is going to be with someone never heard of Islam. Is he going to have an angel and a devil with him? Is the angel telling him to go and learn about Islam in YouTube and the devil telling him to watch Richard Dawkins? Are his angel confirming to his religion or he is a Muslim? If he was a Christian and alcohol or drinks is permitted to him, in this case, what the angel is going to tell him to do and the devil is both going to tell him alcohol is good or the angel going to tell him alcohol is bad and the devil will disagree. In the case of the people who have a mental illness or born and die before they reach maturity, are there two going to have an angel and a devil? or God going to
to send to him a crazy angel and a crazy devil or they are exempted from this if so what about if someone was sick before and he got treated from his mental illness is god in this case going to assign to him his devil and angel and where he going to bring them from the last issue that I had with this story of the creatures that we cannot see is that it appeared that they drink and eat food like us. In authentic narration when the chapter of jinn was revealed, the prophet was missing one night and his companion was looking for him. And the next morning he came up and they asked him, Oh prophet, we were worried about you where have you been he told them that he was with this creature called jinn the narration in sahih muslim the book of the prayer and how to perform evolution even Mas'ud said in a long story the messenger of god said there came to me an inviter on behalf of the jinn and went along with him and recited to them the quran he the narrator said the jinn asked the holy prophet about their provision and he said every bone on which the name of Allah is recited is your provision the time it will fall in your hand it will be covered with flesh and the dung of the camel is folded for your animal the messenger of Allah said don't perform istinja al istinja mean wiping your excrement from the backside with this thing for these are the food of your brother jinn all this question are going to be led to to many technical problem which show you that whoever said these stories had not thought of it he was just talking without thinking this is the story of the devil's associate and the satan with allah and his angel thank you guys for watching and see you again